Welcome back, everyone. We're here again at the set of uh, the West Cooking Show. Uh, we have our special guest, Penn, making us some pen and sausage gumbo. And, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so pin and sausage gumbo. Huh? <laughs> so pin. Uh, how, we, how are we looking on our gumbo? Well, though? we've, we've uh, <laughs> come and added our ingredients. And the, the next thing we're going to do is uh, season to uh, taste. And we're going to put uh, three kinds of seasoning in here that we like, which is a little red pepper. We're going to put a little black pepper. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt, which we like. Gotta have salt. And then a little seasoned salt because uh, everybody likes a little, a little dash of something in there. And then uh, the other thing that I like to add uh, is a little bit of thyme. And what I want is just a hint of flavor. I wanna, I wanna create a curiosity of what that flavor is. I don't wanna overpower it. Mm -hmm. But I want to distinguish this gumbo from the other hundred that are going to be out there. Of course. Uh, the other thing you didn't see me slip in there earlier was a bay leaf. So I'm going to pick that bay leaf out before mm -hmm. uh, I make it, uh, before the product is finished. As we've boiled uh, our gumbo for over a couple of hours before it's uh, ready and <laughs> actually least. simmers, uh, the chicken that we have has been cooked and we don't want it to cook all the way apart. So our chicken is cooked. We don't have a raw chicken, although you certainly could add raw mm -hmm, chicken at course. this point yep. and, and boil it. So we're gonna add our chicken meat uh, to the gumbo. Sometimes people like to use uh, the bones, as mm -hmm. you can see. Sometimes people will pick the bones off. I always like to pick the skin off of mine. Um, again, bad. we talked about cholesterol earlier. If you're not eating the chicken skin, you can have all of the, uh, you, you can enjoy the chicken without the, the negative uh, right. parts. If you add, if you, if you, uh, add the fat uh, skin to it, then you have more grease on the top to skim off before you serve it. So the other thing that we'll that. do, uh, that we won't do, I, I, if I had a little serving spoon, obviously we, we use plastic spoons when we're cooking in the kitchen or when we're cooking at the gumbo cook-off uh, here, but we're gonna taste it the first time for seasoning to see how we've come along. And as we begin to finish the gumbo, we can add a little bit more. We can't take any out. So, as you saw me put just a little bit of salt, salt's one of the dangerous yeah, things. You add in small increments. You add it in small increments because you can't take any out. And uh, anybody that's ever cooked has had to put a potato in there because at one yeah. time, how, can I, salt, you just, how <laughs> can I get rid of that so, salt flavor? So, uh, we're adding a little bit at a time. I want to mention uh, a little a bit about our rice too. Uh, down here, we like to use a, a short grain rice. Medium uh, grain. Medium grain, Mostly, short yeah. grain. We like to have a rice, most people, that's a little bit mushy, you call it, mm -hmm. but it stays together yes. in the gumbo and won't float apart. So uh, uh, we, we will add a little rice to our finished product. Well, Pin, tell us about the uh, special thing with the Food Network with the uh, gumbo. Well, the, the Food Network uh, came down last year uh, to the gumbo cook-off and they actually fielded a team uh, in there and they turned around and did a feature article which is in uh, their magazine and this is the October 2012 issue uh, just out but they did a four-page spread on gumbo and the gumbo cook-off yeah, cool. because they were so impressed with what they saw down here in New Iberia as I said you'll have over a hundred teams that are here and uh, it is impressive to see that many teams all of cooking course. different kinds of gumbos. We spoke off air that there's professional, there's amateur, there's chicken and sausage, there's seafood, seafood. and then there's other. So there'll be something in it for everybody and every different uh, taste. I want to thank Iberia Medical Center, who has been a sponsor of the Chambers Gumbo Cook-Off uh, for 23 years for the time to, to be here uh, with Joey and with Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, and we look forward that uh, Sunday, October the 14th, uh, usually the gumbos are ready to serve about 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, Joey had mentioned that the Festival of Acadiana is running the same weekend. And a lot of times people will go to one festival, drive down to the other, and, and flip-flop yeah. so that they can make a, a great weekend yeah. out of it. So, Pian, 
uh, the gumbo is being cooked there, can the vendors actually sell the gumbos to people? What, what they do is you'll buy tickets mm -hmm. uh, at a booth and then you go to, uh, it's all one price, so you get a cup of chicken and sausage, I think it's $2. If it's seafood, I think it's $3 a cup. They use a, a pretty good size, I think it's about a six ounce cup. So you that's get a very, nice portion. It's really inexpensive. For it's very inexpensive uh, to get taste, but that's the idea is uh, go try some different kinds of gumbos yeah. and you'll see people with little grocery sacks from Piggly Wiggly. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll bring their Piggly Wiggly sacks and they'll fill it up with two, three of these and they'll label it and they'll yeah. take it home to eat <laughs> that's it. That's good, that's like, I like so, that. Uh, That's it, a fun day, fun weekend. It's a it's a great weekend. They get started down there at five in the morning, but uh, the public usually gets there about nine. They watch uh, the teams finish up. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about how we're finishing, and uh, one of the things we're going to add uh, right at the end before we serve, we're going to take a little green onion and sprinkle right over the top. No, and I like to do that without. You can't. I like to, I like to, uh, about five minutes before we serve it. So mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna, and this, this floats the flavor. Another is a little green parsley. Can't have a gumbo without that either. I like a little parsley right on the top and we let it just sit and simmer. It's not boiling. Uh, in the recipe I talked about as your gumbo is simmering, it's blue blue. And the reason I said blue blue is, as you see it boiling, you don't want it boiling faster than just a and blue blue. Pin has a finished uh, uh, plate right here for us. And uh, Pin, I want to take this opportunity real quick. Me and Joey want to thank you for coming. And um, I want to thank you all for being here, yep. allowing us to come. Anytime, Pin is not a stranger to this show. He's been on once before, and or a few times before. And uh, we will welcome you back at any point in time. And um, you know, for, from Joey and I, we'd like yes. to thank you for coming. And thank you all for watching the What's Cooking Show. And you can go to our website, kdcg.com. Click on the What's Cooking Show and get Pin's version of his chicken and sausage Recipe gumbo. Recipe will be on there. Or you can come by your local Piggly Wiggly stores here in Opelousas, 8410 Highway 182 North, or 1305 Heather Drive. And pick up your copies of the recipes. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the gumbo cook-off. And thank you all for watching the What's Cooking Show. KDCG TV.